It's midnight, or past midnight. Can't sleep. Too much coffee, too much go-go juice, and here is the one thing. My boyfriend has decided to dump chicken bones in the sink. I caught it, we're fine. I'm not paying $150, and my brother-in-law for a change of disposal unit. Love you, honey, but please, for the love of St. Pete, do not throw this shit down the disposal. I gotta check my room for anything down there. All right, I got relatively soft foods down there. We're okay. There's no bones. I'm not having a broken disposal to deal with on a Sunday morning. We'll take care of this now. Yay. I just finished a couple of pops popsicles and my boyfriend has had one of my sister's beautiful meals of English muffins. So, I'm gonna tidy the kitchen. So when I sleep later than him, I have no qualms about it. Also, if you are a lovely person and a human being, do not use floss or any other of the site while you are in public. No tea cleaning, unless it's in the bathroom. <sighs> Didn't say it, wish I did. I was nine, I was eight and a half hours into a project and I saw him do it. I'm like, I didn't say anything. That was my fault. Hair's looking good. I need to oil the ends so you don't break off. I did cut off a lot. I haven't even straightened my hair, so I don't know how it actually looks. So I'm going to have to straighten it to see how it actually looks. <sighs> Been a long day. My boyfriend has made me an old fashioned. He's fat with at it. And open the bottle of wine. Fabulous. Love it. Not your circus, not your monkeys, whatever. Um, I guess this part's for me. I think he actually toasted these. <laughs> to my sister, thank you for the beautiful gift. And apparently, he's been opening a lot of other randomness. My man takes vitamins, all these other things, and I have no idea what this package is, but I'm sure it's seasoning. I have so much stuff to clean up. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I'm gonna enjoy my Sunday, I just can't sleep. To be fair, it's kind of my fault and kind of not. I had massive amount of projects that required full hands on deck. And if I didn't do it, I'd have someone yell at me on Monday. Actually, no, more like Sunday. This person doesn't sleep a lot and the CEO can have some issues. I wanted to prepare a few things, have it already, because let's be real. Most of the companies I work for, they're all East Coast. Y'all the same. You know what that means? The following. I need this two days ago. And if you don't have it by then, you're going to hear from me. Which usually kind of how it goes. So, um, I was in a cafe slash restaurant all day. And... I had, and I counted this, I actually had a tally, I threw it away before I left the restaurant, um, or a cafe. Um, I, to be fair, I tipped everyone beautifully, majestically. They got everything. I bought food, bought drinks, the whole nine yards. But here's the problem. I had nine people check on me throughout the day saying, do you need anything else? I'm like, two Dr. Peppers three glasses of wine, 25% tip on that. Um, 
I bought, what was it? Oh, macaroni and cheese for kids, but I go to this place a lot, so they give me the full-size version, the adult, the adult size version, which was fabulous. So that was fine. Still tip them. Y'all that tip and are in the service industry, I had a check that the very lovely gal did not come and get. Um, they canceled out that check, put it on their tab. So does that mean she doesn't get paid? I'm confused. I don't understand. This is the first time it's ever happened. I've not had to bend this stationary for a while. By the way, everyone completely complimented me on my setup every time. I'm like, remote work, busy, CEO, gotta deal with shit. I was polite, but I was also had a lot going on. I think I probably sat down for over seven and a half hours. I think my breaks were literally like maybe 10 minutes. I had to go to the bathroom. Anyways, I was focused. The nice thing about taking Adderall is, for me, the thing is, I've not been tested for ADHD, but I am solely convinced that I probably have it. I don't take ADHD medication a lot. It's like standby, like if you have a pain and it's uncomfortable, you take a Tylenol, but you don't always, always have pain. So when I need to focus, which is not a lot, take medication and it silences my brain. The quiet is unnerving, but it's also comforting because I'm an overthinker of an extreme amount. So. I'm kind of convinced I have ADHD, but here's the thing is, what you don't know, long-term subscribers, I've actually been tested for autism. I've been tested for being bipolar. I'm not bipolar. Already had that checked off the list. Three, no, four therapists ago. 2021 was a blast. So. Don't have that. I am fully convinced that I have ADHD and because I don't have insurance, I can't get tested for it. I am taking medication that got in Mexico because someone else needed it that does was prescribed for me. But here's the thing. That person had insurance. They told me, no, I actually don't need the extra bottle. My doctor was able to refill it. Great. Held on to it. A year later, hmm. Able to function. I got so much done, it was kind of scary. None accounts to reconciliation, three credit cards, and someone that needed assistance on a computer for two hours. So, consider myself for granted today. Yes, I know it's frowned upon, but you know what? Until you pay my bills, you can talk. If not, love you all the same. All right, guys. I'm trying to finish one of my horror films. Here's the thing is, when I don't sleep, I do weird things. Insomnia, I've watched so much Netflix, my boyfriend literally does this. What have you not seen? I have been so sleepless in the past three and a half years, maybe four, four years, almost four years that I met him, he's like, is it even fun you watching Netflix? I'm like, yes, I have some favorites and I do have some new stuff, so I digress. Anyways, I'm gonna call this one nighttime chat. Add everything in, like a boss. 
If I don't remove all my makeup, yes, this is because I've been picking at it. I've been touching my face, I've been rubbing my nose, I've been sneezing, whatever. I've been in an allergy environment. Not my circus, not my monkeys. But yes, I'm aware. I have one spot of acne over my beautiful face. Y'all come at me. Here's the one thing. Everyone that is a skincare influencer, do you work other than your content? Do you have a skincare regimen tailored for your skin? And do you have a lot of stress where at the drop of a hat, someone can say, hi, I need you to do overtime for 10 to 12 hours. If you can, you're good. Here's the thing is, everything is changing. And I have a job interview on Monday, so. I have a lot going on on my plates. I'm not like everyone else. Yes, my house is lovely. I just spent an hour and a half cleaning it this morning and it looks great. But I still have a lot of dishes and other randomness I have to take care of. Here's the thing is, I understand that most of the people that unsubscribe are people that do not like people that drink. Totally fine. You do you. I am helping someone that has mental health issues, that has hit a limit of where they needed help and they're slowly scaling back. Just because a bottle is open doesn't mean it's been drinking. And everything's gonna be fine. My boyfriend's in therapy. I'm in therapy. And this is just a part of life. There are people that have so much stress that they do not handle things well in the normal arena. They may have a therapist every week. They may have them three times a month. They may have two times a month. It doesn't mean they can handle day to day when their inbox or their email is full of unpleasant news. Think about your own world. Are you really a person to judge? You don't know what everyone's going through. Be kind to everyone else because they'll be kinder to you. I do need to finish the show and let's see here, where am I at? Come on. All right, I've got 54 minutes. Then I'm gonna try to sleep. Hmm. We're chilling like a villain. And we're watching random movies. This one apparently was uploaded. I'm like, let's go, let's watch it. Tomorrow, my entire goal is to be in the hot tub. My lower back is kind of numb from all the sitting I've done. I've been doing so much work today that it's not pleasant. And I've quietly realized how bad my broken toe is. This one's broken. That one's not. This one, when I step on it, has a weird numbness feeling from here to here. Uh, unpleasant. It's gonna be fine. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to you. And remember, any insomniac friends you have, they may or may not be okay. So at least tell them that you love them and that it won't last forever. And if need be, be the person that buys them beans and brew, Starbucks, or Instacart's coffee to their house. I've actually done this for a friend. I miss her. That was like four jobs ago. Another thing too, if you are changing jobs, you gotta understand one thing. Paycheck pays the bills, loyalty does not. They were loyalty to you, 
They help you get your next job because they care about you. If not, you're just a number. Worked in the higher ups of jobs and I was a number. I did a lot of work, didn't get promoted, did the work for a lot of persons and they got promoted while I did all the work. So do not be that person. You're allowed to act, act your wage. My next employment, I shall do the same. Though I do hope that I will be moving soon because my opportunity pool is going to be so much better. All right, guys, I've rambled enough. You guys have a fabulous evening. And the only thing I can say about my outfit is thank you, Ralph Lauren. You're awesome. I love this robe. My boyfriend has something similar but vintage. My brother-in-law got it for him, and it was fabulous. He looks amazing in it, and he loves it. Shout out to my brother-in-law. Thank you for such a wonderful gift. Love y'all. Need to finish this, the show and I need to go to bed. Though I did eat. Yes, it's almost one in the morning. I was feeling protein related because my entire food ensemble, 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 there we go, ensemble, was Caesar salad, no croutons, double the croutons. I didn't eat the croutons. But it has a ranch. So I was like, double the ranch, croutons, whatever. I should have just told them to remove the croutons. I did not. But had that two Dr. Peppers, um, half a thing of kid pasta that was supposed to be macaroni and cheese. I can't even remember the type. I think it was like rigatoni or something. Anyways, it was fabulous. Loved it, cheese filled, great. Had like a section of it, then my boyfriend finished the rest. Had two glasses of champagne, and we can't sleep. I should have taken three quarters of the Adderall. I didn't, it's okay. <sighs> if my boyfriend gives me shade about this, I get to say all the hours I worked today. Without the union nice break. Because I'll get paid later this month. Based on performance. So, get her all done. Alright guys, bye.